Congressman, what brings you to Capitol Hill today? What they're doing to con former Congressman Gates is wrong. And if nobody is willing to stand up and say it, I came here to lobby it and say it out loud for everyone to hear. And who are you looking to talk to? I, I, what, what is, well, how has Matt Gates been wrong? He's no longer within the purview and jurisdiction of the Ethics Committee as a former member. And this is a witch hunt now. It's and, ridiculous. And so is your message, who is your message to then uh, the, the, the Ethics Committee members, uh, the speaker? Like what's To anybody who wants to hear it. Okay. And why, why is it so important uh, to you to stand up for Matt Gates in this moment? I would have done it for anybody, even if we were a Democrat. Right's right, wrong's wrong. And what would you say to people who are skeptical about uh, what might the, what the, the ethics report might contain? Um, I don't care. Matt Gates has been investigated for three years by the DOJ, Trump's DOJ and Biden's DOJ. Bill Barr and Merrick Garland chose not to indict or prosecute him. What, what does Michael Guest and Susan Wilde know better than the actual entire force of two separate administrations, DOJs? Out of breath and disgraced former Congressman George Santos apparently ran to the Capitol to advocate for Matt Gates as he and allies try to openly cover up damning information from the investigation into his alleged child sex trafficking ring. He better hope Santos's fanfare works out better for him than it did for the Mets. Hey guys, today is opening day. As a good old Mets fan, I know you guys aren't going to be playing until April 6th back home, but in good old fashion, let's go Mets! Now, despite his curse over the Mets that overpowered the magic of Grimace, Santos had more to say about Gates. Uh, what's your forecast thought for Matt Gates as Attorney General? I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. I think he'll get. I, I think he'll get nominated, and I'm sorry. I think he'll get confirmed because he's a workforce. He's already working at it. Do you think he'd be a good Attorney General? I'm sorry? Do you think he would be a, a, an effective... I think he'd be a reformative, reformer, okay. reformer, reformer, 100%. And do you think that if uh, these, uh, if, if the ethics report or whatever were to come out, would that imperil his his uh, confirmation? <laughs> it's more of the same nonsense for three years that has been investigated previously by the ethics, by, pardon me, by the DOJ, as I said, and nothing has come of it. Nothing has come of it. I think if you put it into perspective, nothing has come of it. If there's a, if you had a, you know, a power circle or like a dream meeting when you go into the house now um, to make your case for Mr. Gates, uh, who, who would it be? I, 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 no one in specific, everyone. I think everyone should listen to this and everybody should be aware that this is wrong, period. It's, it's not that complicated. It's wrong. What they're doing to Matt Gates is wrong. It's political and it's weaponizing this committee. If you got a collection of openly corrupt officials lining up to go to bat for you, it might not help your case. I mean, Santos is one of the only other Republicans that fellow conservatives were unwilling to protect, despite them needing his seat in a very close majority that they held. Thank you. I'll keep this very brief. Uh, I myself have been a victim of George Santos and as well as other members of Congress in terms of defrauding through public donations. I had received an ethics complaint from the FEC, which I had to spend tens of thousands to defend myself. You, sir, are a crook. I know I should direct my comments to the chair. I yield back. I'd like to move to have the gentleman from Ohio's word stricken from the record, please. Hypocrisy, as I mentioned. My colleague wants to come up here call me a crook. Same colleague who's accused of being a woman beater. Are we, are we really going to ignore the facts that we all have past and we all have the media coming out against us on a daily basis? He said we all have a past and we all have the media coming after us on a daily basis. You know, if that's not admission that they're all a bunch of closeted fraudsters, assaulters, and criminals whose enemy is the media that's always on their backs, I don't know what it is. You know, here's some of those past actions by Matt Gates that Santos is back to defend. Well, today, a key figure in the federal investigation of Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates pleaded guilty to several charges, including sex trafficking of a minor. So what does this mean for Congressman Gates? His name hung over the federal courthouse in Orlando. As the man's sources tell CBS News, he once described as his wingman, Joel Greenberg, pleaded guilty to six federal charges, including sex trafficking and paying at least one underage girl to have sex with him and other men. Greenberg, who appeared in a dark blue prison jumpsuit and was once the elected tax collector in Seminole County, admitted to conducting more than 150 transactions totaling more than $70,000 for sex. He did not specifically mention the congressman, but has agreed to cooperate with federal investigators looking into Gates's behavior. His attorney, Fritz Scheller. Does my client have 
information that could uh, hurt uh, an elected official. This is just, you know, must-see television. You'll just have to wait and see. Multiple sources familiar with the matter tell CBS News one of the men Greenberg introduced the minor to was Gates, and federal investigators are now looking into whether the congressman had a sexual relationship with her when she was 17, something Gates has repeatedly denied. Sources say the woman also traveled to the Bahamas with Gates in 2018 or 2019 with at least three other paid escorts when she was 18. And while we sit and watch Trump-controlled Republicans try to hide evidence of a potential child sex trafficker, no one's talking about how damning it is that Gates' is wingman, that Glenn Maxwell to his Jeffrey Epstein, was busted for coordinating the whole thing. They're going to try to flood the public with completely disconnected and, in their mind, distracting points to get people on the side of the guy witnesses say traveled around with teenage girls on an unofficial payroll. So some of these guys, even not having a hearing, at maybe not even met Matt Gates, they're just no's? You know, I, I've read about my colleagues, some of them here in the Senate, who say we've got deep concerns. Of course, I'm reading all of the slander and garbage in the press about Gates and others. And this is really approaching Kavanaugh proportions. They're trying to do to him what they did to Kavanaugh. And the answer to that is let the guy speak. He deserves to be able to address this himself. He deserves to be able to lay out his vision and the president's vision for the DOJ. And I look forward to that. And listen, I, as I said to President Trump, I'm going to help in whatever way I can to get the president the cabinet that he wants and deserves. Are we not supposed to recognize that the party that claims to protect children from predatory men is bending over backwards to protect a potentially predatory man from accountability? I mean, Hawley said it openly. His concern is with pleasing Donald Trump and his desire to put Gates in charge of the Justice Department. You know, that's more important to him than exposing and dismissing a predator. They're more nervous this time because too many Republicans are in favor of seeing everything on Gates before backing him. Would you vote to release that report? I think it's very important that everybody has as much knowledge as possible so that they can make an informed decision. So it sounds like yes. That's a yes. So if if what the if the rumors are true about Mr. Gates' conduct, then there should be referrals to other agencies. And if they're not true, then there's a whole lot of people that owe him an apology. So shouldn't it be that simple? Hawley, Lindsey Graham, and Santos shouldn't even have to bark about how unfair it is that people are making judgment on Gates before his confirmation hearing even starts. You know, this can all be cleared up from the investigation's details coming out and clearing him. There won't be any need for speculation or little leaks of information here and there. They should be 100% confident that their guy didn't take part in child sex trafficking, that he didn't show illicit pictures of women on the house floor and brag about sex parties the way that Mark Wayne Mullen told us he did. You know, when are we going to release this information and clear Matt Gates' name? Madam Speaker, pursuant to Clause 2A1 of Rule 9, I rise to give notice of my intention to raise a question of the privileges of the House. Directing the Committee on Ethics to preserve and publicly release records of the committee's review of the alleged violations of the House Code of Conduct and Federal Law by Representative Matthew Lewis Gates II of Florida. Whereas on April 9, 2021, the Committee on Ethics initiated a review of allegations that Representative Gates may have engaged in sexual misconduct and or illicit drug use, shared inappropriate images or videos on the House floor, misused state identification records, converted campaign funds to personal use and or accepted a bribe, improper gratuity or permissible gift in violation of House rules, laws, or other standards of conduct in violation of federal law and the rules of the House. Review of allegations that Representative Gates may have engaged in sexual misconduct and illicit drug use, accepted improper gifts, dispensed special privileges and favors to individuals with whom he had a personal relationship, and sought to obstruct the government investigations of his conduct. Resolved that the Committee on Ethics shall, one, preserve all documents and investigative material related to any review of Matthew Lewis Gates the second's conduct while serving as a member of the House of Representatives, and two, make public the committee's report regarding the alleged violations of the House Code of Conduct or of a law, rule, regulation, or other standard of conduct by Matthew Lewis Gates II while serving as a member of the House of Representatives. 